What's going on YouTube? Giosan right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the PassFab Activation Unlocker, which is a software that allows you to bypass iCloud and also remove Find My iPhone or Find My iPod from your device. So we're going to check the program out. In my previous video I actually checked out this feature here, Remove iCloud Activation Lock, and in this video we're going to check out the Turn Off Find My iPhone. So the program itself is available in here on the PassFab.com. It's called PassFab Activation Unlocker, and it supports both Windows Windows and Mac OS. There is a free trial available, but you should keep in mind that this only supports the iPhone 10 and lower. For the iOS versions, this supports the iPhone 12 all the way up to 14.6, but it doesn't support the iPhone 12, iPhone 11, or the iPhone 10s Max, 10R, or 10s. So as I said, this program has two different modes of operation: one that bypasses the iCloud, which I demonstrated in a previous video. Check it out in the link below, and another mode that would basically remove the Find My iPhone from the device, and that is important for example if you purchased a second-hand device and it has the previous owner's account in there they forgot to take it off or even if you've been scammed and you bought a device and they refuse to remove that account or they ask you to pay more if you want that account removed this does happen unfortunately sometimes on eBay and so on it's also a useful program if you forgot your own Apple ID or the password for your find my iPhone so this is how the program looks like a very simple user interface and in order to install it you open the DMG file here here on a Mac, you drag it and drop it to the applications folder and that's it. It's very simple to install on Mac and on Windows it's the same procedure with next, next, next and finish. Once you have it installed all you have to do is to press here turn off find my iPhone and now it would be the good time to connect the device. So as you can see the phone is currently working fine, you can open applications, it's already activated but the only difference is that if you go here in settings you do have an Apple ID and the find my iPhone is indeed enabled in here so you're not able able to get it off. If you press find my iPod, you try to toggle it off, it shows Apple ID password and of course you cannot turn it off without a password. So if you want to remove this completely from your device in here, we're going to use the program. So as I mentioned, this is only going to work for the iPhone 10, the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPhone 8, iPhone 6s and so on. This is not going to work with the A12, A13 and A14 devices, which are currently the latest devices available. But with the iPhone 10 and older, this works pretty fine. So once you have the locked device connected to your computer, you press start in here. Now it does give you this in here, it tells you that please read the following agreement carefully before using. And there are a couple of important points in here. It says quote, your device needs to be jailbroken before turning off find my iPhone, which has the potential to break your device. Please rest assured that it can be repaired. The second one is please unlock the device and disconnect network from the device before using this function. So I'm going to have to go ahead and unlock my device and then I'm going to have to turn off Wi-Fi in here so that I don't have any network connection. I'm going to also switch on the airplane mode. And then it says in here, after turning off Find My iPhone, your device will be restored to factory settings, but you can use the device as brand new and activation lock won't appear after restart or factory reset. So this is basically a permanent solution on those devices. You're not going to need that old account ever again. And this tool is only designed to help individuals who forgot their Apple ID password and so on. Please don't use this for illegal reasons. And you have to agree with the uh, terms in here and press next. After you do that, it's going to say the jailbreak tool has been downloaded successfully. And what it does is basically get check rain. Check rain is being used for the jailbreak part and then the program does whatever magic it does in the background after your device is jailbroken. So we're going to press start jailbreak, it's going to start check rain basically. And since my device runs a newer version than check rain supports, I'm going to have to go here to options and to allow untested iOS and skip A11 BPR check. We're going to press start in here, press next in here and we're going to have to put the device in DFU mode. Now the phone will reboot indeed in recovery mode which shows the laptop logo and the power cable but that's not the mode we want it in so we're going to follow the procedure here on the screen in order to basically put the device in DFU mode. So please do follow the procedure on the screen. Alright so at this point the jailbreak is being installed. We're waiting for the device to completely boot. It's going to show the check rain logo. It's perfectly normal. This shouldn't take too much time but do not close either check rain or the passfab activation unlocker because after we're done with check rain we're going to go back to this program here. So it says in here all done and the device has rebooted. I have a passcode so I'm going to input it right now and now I do have check rain on my screen so I'm going to close this one in here it's no longer needed and then we can continue here on this program so I'm going to press next and as you can see it successfully identified the device. It says iOS 14.6 iPod touch 7 generation which is of course the latest available. So I'm going to press start in here and it's going to say turning off find my iPhone. Alright so after a couple of 
seconds you're going to see this in here successfully turned off find my iPhone. Find my iPhone has been turned off. Please verify the SMI status. Device model is this one and the serial number is this one. It says in here please enter off or on according to the website result. So you have to check if the find my iPhone really was turned off. So I'm going to press verify the SMI status. It's going to go to passfab.com and as you can see it says in here please enter the uh, IMEI number or the serial. So I'm going to get the serial number from the application press copy in here and paste it here on the software and now I'm gonna press the magnifying glass in here and that's basically it it says in here checking and we're waiting for the result and the result we will input in the program so we're waiting for it and it says in here find my iPhone is indeed now off. So as you can see that's great, find my iPhone says off, we're going to input that in the application here, we want to say off and press confirm. It says in here removing the Apple ID requires resetting your device, are you sure you want to reset it? Yes, and of course it's now removing it completely. So your device will be reset, it shows now the Apple logo and the progress bar, and after that you will be able to activate your device with any account. So this is not just a temporary fix, this is a permanent fix, and as you can see the Apple servers already said that the find my iPhone is off for this device. So as you can see here it says successfully removed Apple ID. The find my iPhone feature has been turned off successfully. You can set up the device and use it as brand new. Press done and that's it. The device will now be reset to the factory settings. You're going to see the setup screen now and you're going to have to configure your device. We're going to have to set it up normally and as you can see it says in here it may take a few minutes to activate your iPod touch but it's not going to ask for find my iPhone again. It's going to activate it with no problem directly without any Apple ID. ID. So I'm not touching it and as you can see it says data and privacy so it skipped the activation. We can create a passcode if we want but I'm not going to. And of course now you follow the normal procedure to activate your device. So set up later in here. I'm going to skip all the steps. You can complete them if you want to but I'm going to just breeze through them. Press continue here. Press continue again. Uh, I'm not going to share anything and set up. Don't share and that's it. Light and get started. And as you can see the device is now like brand new. It even tries to install the applications from the app store. So as you can see it's okay. If you go here in settings there is no Apple ID anymore. There's no find my iPhone and you can put your own. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.